comienzo. Hola a todos, bienvenidos al episodio 2 de Life is Strange. Welcome to episode 2 of Life is Strange, people. Let's see, what's next? Oh yeah, choices, choices. In the previous episode of Life is Strange, get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Called film Whoa. little pieces what of the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today.
diario. Nathan el loco, Nathan el salvaje ese loco. Chloe, bestie, hey. Ese director loco está comprado. Rich desaparecida. Y Warren, bueno, frenzón total por parte de Max. Qué triste. La Laptop. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. Mm, chrononautas. actuales que quienes pueden anular las dimensiones del tiempo prefieren mantenerse en el anonimato desde el impacto del escrutinio público y del gobierno. Naciones de todo el mundo han invertido literalmente miles de millones de dólares en tratar de construir, claro, en completo secreto, obviamente, su propia versión de la máquina del tiempo, o en japonés, Tamo Machine, o como era, quién sabe. Por suerte, este no es el caso en el que contar con sumas infinitas de dinero sin una controlada del infinito. No, exactamente. A ver qué dice el correo del chaval. El doctor Ibi. Enlaces de ciencia y física. What? Física cuántica. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. Buena pregunta, exacto. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Sign the petition. <laughs> Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. She'll spread that shit everywhere. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Vamos a ver qué hay de nuevo. Uh... Este... Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Whoa, hello, zombie face. <laughs> zombie face. <laughs> this is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Y suerte que uno está viva después de investigar sobre física cuántica. Gordon, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I'm so on it. Consider it done. La utiliza para hacer su trabajo. Rata de Victoria. Ow! Oh. Regresa, 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 regresa. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Whoa. <laughs> wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. De nada, de nada. Te acabo de salvar por segunda vez. Gross. Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm 
¿Qué está haciendo? 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 Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. <laughs> Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Let's talk later, Max. Curiosity killed the Max. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Rollerblade! Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. We must have been bad and bad. Stuff. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Juliet. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? What? So is that chiva there? That's not cool. Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Mm -hmm. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. There's Brooke, looking smarter than everybody. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? Yeah. No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. <laughs> True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Stella. Go away! People are sleeping! 
clearly sleep. not a morning person. Showers. What's that on the Kate. Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. A poster. This is the last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm good to flow. Thanks. Otter power? I'm so not there. No pity. Relajarse en la mañana con un baño. ¿Qué pasa con Kate? Ah, What's up, Kate? Victoria. School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. What? <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. What a bitch. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. Hmm, don't get see him. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Evil biatch, bitch. <laughs> link ahí en el espejo. <laughs> ah, qué desgraciada. Siempre aguantan. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Ya veremos. Water is almost as good as a cup of strong tea when I'm in sleepy mode. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Exacto. Hello, water. Sorry. I forgot. <laughs> Trust no one. No confies en nadie. Fuera de servicio. Es esto. No pasta de cal, supongo. Rachel is a horror. Hmm. Oh, 
Vamos al cuarto. Uh, no fucking way. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? Ah, After I find pedo. Kate's book. Ah, desordenaron todo. Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. And nothing here. Oh. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Foul. <laughs> Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Limpiar el desorden. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Exactamente. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Oh, I'm a pussy. Que sería vestirse. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. <laughs> now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. It will be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Come and get me, douchebag. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. No brook here. No stubble. Fine, I won't disturb you. Kate. Oh, 
que, hay que borrar esto. Kate, you in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Kate, you mean? Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. que ella se grabó el video la drogaron ahora hasta la regañan por eso Kate used to play the violin every morning she stopped last week ¿por qué será? Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. No fucker. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Zombie. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Conecito. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. del conejito Kate really has a doting father son mormones o algo así that's a lot of tears she's going to go through boxes I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Ouch. She left out amnation. Yeah. Una prostituta que... Good Lord, this must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Pobre, todos la Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Se ve muy bien. Pero ahora... Poor Kate, she doesn't look good. Uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David that? Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. I won't either. Thank you, Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it.
So why would you go? Lapse of sanity? I just thought I could meet some new people. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Hmm. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. <laughs> Nathan Prescott. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Hmm. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Mm -hmm. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Why did she cover up the mirror? If she can't look at herself? Let's talk later, Max. T 
Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Hay que preguntarle a ver si Victoria... Bueno, obviamente no nos va a decir nada, pero... Hay que sacarle el video. Con el lugar. Fine, I won't disturb you. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but... I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destination. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. <laughs> I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Vamos a ver esta gata de Victoria. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor sí. alone without Team Victoria. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I, mean, yes. I guess friends. I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Max, check it out. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. <laughs> You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? 
an old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. <laughs> Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love <laughs> those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery ticket. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. <laughs> I don't know. It runs pretty regularly. I cannot miss this job interview. But I've got to take the bus out of Arcadia Bay to Newport just to find work. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks. I sure need it. Old geezer. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right. I don't want to go that way. Chloe. That's what this is, but. 
Kann man nehmen, dass der so? Oh, Rita. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Obviously, nobody took my advice. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. King of the harbor? Hmm. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Prescott Bay. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. <laughs> I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware oh, makes me feel 13 again. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Good chill out. <laughs> Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. That graffiti has been here forever. Gross. Rachel, hey, owes me a. What the hell? Jesus. <laughs> okay. Thank you, redneck poet. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie? Or grilled mac and cheese. <laughs> How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our mother. Our mother. So you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Oh, 
Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. No, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so... I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling in Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Oops. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Drool. Want everything. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. It looks fun. Six. And there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still <laughs> smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe said. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. <laughs> you did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe well, we must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, Whoa. blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her Sorry. stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. 
But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Waffle, Belgian waffle. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here Belgian. when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. Nerve graffiti. Warren must have been. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Coffee. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Get some beer and bacon before I die. This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Oh, Chloe. What's up? Mom and Max, <laughs> together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl, but woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. <laughs> Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. <laughs> this is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pocket. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pocket. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. He 
me. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay. Cigarros, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, siete cigarros. Las moneditas, veinticinco centavos, veinticinco centavos, más de un centavo, moneda de cinco centavos, una vez un centavo, son unos tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Cinco centavos, una moneda de cinco, que es esta. Entonces tenemos seis, seis, seis cinco, once. Ajá. Once, cincuenta y setenta y cinco, ochenta y seis centavos. Muy bien. Warning ticket. Uh, out of parking bay, pressing an obstruction, that's a ticket. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. <laughs> Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. <laughs> Describe my keychain. Panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What <laughs> else? Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? <laughs> rich as fuck. 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Oh, crap. Let him tell you. Ten thirty-four. Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Ah, si le tiene. Excelente. Amaze balls! I literally just got chills all over my neck. <laughs> you have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. <laughs> I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will hmm. predict the future. No way. <laughs> Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're so a fool. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. Oh, he started it. Man. I'm finishing it. Ah, ahí pasa una cucaracha por ahí. Un insecto. That's the best song out of the This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. 
I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. That's something. So, what are you waiting for? Okay, vamos a decirle entonces. Empezando el tiempo ahora. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? Pues, uh, su compañero se va. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Just in trouble, uh, again. Mm. Joyce stops him. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. <laughs> The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty mm -hmm. bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Mm -hmm. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. <laughs> You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. <laughs> I you predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? <laughs> I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for <laughs> which she stands. <laughs> this isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. <laughs> the best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! <laughs> Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, <laughs> that's what I did. <laughs> you can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. Cool. I don't have time. <laughs> you did not just say that. <laughs> uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl one. Sidekick. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Veamos. Veamos, Joyce. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and cool to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Hmm. Well, I'll see if I'll respond. Me necesita más que Chloe. Lo siento, Chloe. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please. Go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. <laughs> rock. <sighs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Coming up at noon. KBay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video, video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe. Mm. 
no se congeló y... O el tipo que nos está vigilando. times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? <laughs> I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. <laughs> Kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles. Pretty please. Pretty please. Vamos allá entonces. Botellas. Botellas por ahí, botellitas. Nope. Nada, nada. It's hard to believe that was once on the road. Filled with dozens of students. Beyond repair. Oh, Rest in peace. <laughs> I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Y encontramos la primer botella. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Hmm. That dough is the perfect photo op. This was an old school punk shirt. Nada. La foto. Oh, es invisible. Solo la puedo ver yo. No sabía, no había nada ahí.
I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Nope, I don't want to go there. There's a good trace. Thanks for the tip. could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Mateus, Mateus. Where to find this looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I, I want to die. <sighs> Jeez. Who wrote this? Mateus. Boom, only three bottles left. Ouch. Warning. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. CDR. Old schooly. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. <laughs> no, that kind of hurts. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Disturbing to see old yeah. syringes on the ground. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? Get on the boat from a higher location. Whoa. Those shells look fresh. Shopping shells. Working. The Bigfoots were here. Bridge, please. Way heavier than I thought. Baja, baja, baja. Yes. Three down. Three down, two, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Sit. Chillax, Max. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again, <laughs> hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, 
I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Max un poco como yo. Sentarse, relajarse y simplemente pensar. O divagar por ahí. Ok, ¿y dónde más? Oh, ahí yo tengo. Oh, 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 oh. Stupid bottle. I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the hush puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. Sad. Where to find bottles? Maybe in an old refrigerator. One more bottle to go. Cuidado, supongo que ya está para eso, pero es porque está en mi llamada esta mañana. Me ha estado mi amiga, tú estuviste ahí. Claro que estoy de tu lado, Kate. ¿Y dónde habrá un viejo refrigerador? Hmm, difícil, difícil. This is the scariest thing here. was here. <laughs> they would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. I don't want to go that way. ¿Dónde estaba esa otra botella? Hmm. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill. Not fair. <laughs> I have to prep the range, crybaby. I have been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God or, or the, gods. the gods? So bow. We can Before make the me. world bow. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Oh, yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works, a god must doth know these things. <laughs> Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And badassness. fun. <laughs> Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh, yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. No you already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. 
I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Tem que estar por aqui. Né? Sit. It's so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. Onde poderá estar essa botella? Não te resistas a mi poder, botella. This was an old school punk shirt. There's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Na fogata. Onde poderá ser? I'm sure this is a popular part. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Casi muero aplastado. Mr. Chloe. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road? One more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Hmm. Max? You have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Right. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Boom! <laughs> oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool! Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Mm. Oh. oh, you little... Where do I aim? Up. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Boom! Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. 
aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. <laughs> nice. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Ooh. Hell, I guess. Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. <laughs> so I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Mm. Well, gasoline Matt, tank. let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom. Boom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boom! Car Ooh. definitely down, but no bottle casualties. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha. Uber cool. Nice. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Max, your nose. Damn. Sobre explotó su I don't feel so super. Max! You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but <laughs> fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Picture. Take a photo. Badass Chloe. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Sister. <laughs> hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. <laughs> We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Uh-uh. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. <laughs> Put that down. No. Fuego, Max, fuego! Shoot! Oh. That is hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, 
I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. <laughs> Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Let's see, it's not either. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. Wow, sir. Why did Frank... I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. <laughs> it felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! <laughs> You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too, I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. <laughs> Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. <laughs> I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. <laughs> Whoa. Hung out? You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Oh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. <laughs> we would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac like knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the bead poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Oh no, te atoraste. 
sabía que algo malo iba a pasar. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué postarse en las vías del tren? No me digas que es el tren. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Hay que buscar la forma de liberarla. Awesome. It's not locked. Necesito. Uh, I can't even move it an inch. Hurry! I can definitely use this bad boy. Hay algo aquí adentro. La barreta corre, abre, la abre. Score. Esto no puede servir para cortar el cable. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. No, Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. In and out, no problem. Damn, something is blocking the drum. Now I can finally move the drum. I have to help lift Chloe up. Max, get me out of here! Damn, that was close. You saved me again. Crazy. You were totally wrong, did I? You okay? I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Ooh. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but... I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. Chauffeur. My powers <laughs> might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That Holy might explain shit. your tornado vision. Yeah. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. <laughs> you saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Hmm. Uh, it means shit happens, right? Yeah. No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. <laughs> like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Vamos, <laughs> Chloe.
have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Alleged? Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. <laughs> Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Hmm. I wouldn't want to be at an end of the world party with Nathan Prescott. Too much truth in advertising. Go Bigfoots. Sacker. You little unfaithful Hello, Zach. bastard. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini-drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. Like, what does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Smart and fun. Just like Cartman would, would say. Uh, don't forget, women are smart and fun. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Join us, or die. Mm. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Mm. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even Ooh, have a dress? dress <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shin. Let's try another option. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Matt. Really? Oh, le I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Thanks. Seriously. Hello, climate change. David. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Oh, it's a real kid, huh? Hmm. Ah, but I want this to go, Chloe. Ah. Rayos. Mind them directly. No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Ooh, Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. 
She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You best not bother chatting me up now. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. What's up, dude? Think, big brain. Bring me the brain, Igor. Igor? Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Hmm. Sodium, potassium. Warren, this seems kind of dangerous. You might as well flip a switch, Frankenstein. Frankenstein. I'm the only mad scientist without a faithful Igor. I'll choose using the scientific method. Heeny, meeny, miny, mo. Potassium. <laughs> oh. Weird science. That hard. Hey, Warren. Maxwell, so. Asking me for help means you're. I have to add either a. Lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Boom! <laughs> she blinded me with science. I don't want to laugh, but he looks so hilarious. <laughs> yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Rook. Cool? Sup, Rook? Howdy, Rook. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Hmm. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh. I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. My nature. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. Drone. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. So long, Brooks. can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Tate.
Just leave me alone. You have to talk so to me, Kate. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Damn. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Hmm, Uh-huh. Sure, okay. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, I know. That makes sense. Huh? <laughs> Seriously, I have to hang up now. Let's talk about this later. We'll talk later. Okay, I have to go. Because I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Please just hang up the phone. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Both. 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 Dana, you are out of control. Turn Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? Oh. You look like ass. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Love. And it's my new avatar. <laughs> Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing the of the Louvre. Summer. We'll talk mm. about it later. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Contemplating shit.
Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. No time to talk, Max. Posing in Do progress. you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? You. Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives it. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And hmm. paparazzi. I want that photo whore or I get nasty. Too late. <laughs> oh, burn. Max is so fearless when she has backup. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Don't get cocky. This isn't over. In fact, shit's just starting, Max. Yeah, but I must go sign up. Assholes. Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong. And we are. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit down. Maybe I'll we see have a you lot later. to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> Not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a I friend. guess Kate will miss class now. I wonder how it would feel. I'm worried about her. Shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. But that way. Oops. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? <laughs> I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book. What's your problem? <laughs> Her book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in monochrome. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, whoa, 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 whoa. everybody remains seated. Dismissed. <laughs> Dismissed. Because ya no hay nadie. Típico de la universidad que alguien entra al salón y va, no está pasando y todo mundo se va. Is this for real? Bitch flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Kate. Whoa, 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 Kate. Oh God. Oh, no! She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Oh. Whoa. Estoy excediendo el poder. Salvarla, malditos bullies no le saldrán con la suya. No voy a dejar que la maten. Keep going, Max. You can 
Do it. Congelé inclusive las botas. Oh, pobre sales. No me imagino cuando si se hubiera caído les playa y todo de sangre y vísceras que ah, no sé pensar los malditos bullies. Y este ya para qué va corriendo si ya va media caída, Kate. Uh, inteligencia, David. Kate, no lo hagas, no. Yes. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me! No, 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 no. I no, will no jump. No okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Las pruebas. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. No, sal Please. No, sal no, sal you don't no, sal have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. Oh, I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nobody. Your father. Kate. I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. Let's go eat more antes. Ven conmigo. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. <laughs> Exactamente, sí. 
Ah, la salvé. Uh. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. Mm -hmm. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us sí, everything. Jefferson made her cry. Made her dazed. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. 